Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a favourites video, um, specifically May favourites. But I don't always do this video just because if I'm honest I'm not a massive fan of doing them. Um, I do love watching them but I don't know, I don't know what it is, but if I do get a collection of things that I'm really really loving then that makes me want to share that with you guys and this month I do so yeah let's just get on with it. I'm going to start with food favourites um, and the first one I'm going to show you is flaxseed. Um, I recently did quite a lot of research into this because I've seen this like talked about a, a bit here and there and I'm trying to eat healthier and exercise more and just live a bit of a healthier lifestyle and flaxseed is really good for you and you can add it to pretty much everything so um, I wanted to share this with you guys. So it's rich in omega-3, um, fatty acids, protein, iron, magnesium, calcium, um, it's just so good for you guys and I just tend to add this to um, my breakfast, like um, yogurts and fruit and just mix this in. If I have pasta I can put this in, don't get me wrong, I love my Chinese, I love my pizza and I love my McDonald's but I'm trying to cut down on the junk and trying to incorporate more healthy foods and more healthy lifestyle into my diet so flaxseed and I think you can get this online or from Holland and Barrett as well. <laughs> and next one, not so healthy. Um, <laughs> this is the Lint um, Lindor limited edition, boo, strawberries and cream chocolates. These are the best tasting things I think I've ever tasted and basically what they are are just mini chocolates just like the Lint balls um, but they're cho um, like white chocolate, cream and strawberry flavoured and they are just insane. So please don't make this limited edition Lint because they are my favourites and I just don't want them to end. So. I'm sorry there's none to show you because I ate them all, but they are delicious, so grab your hands on some. Okay, so the next one is a body wash, and I still have some of my one from Christmas left because I've been collecting the same one for a while, just because I was obsessed with the smell, but I thought I'd try this because my boyfriend uses this, and it's just the 40, it's the original source lime, and it's got 40 real zingy limes packed into this, apparently. Um, but it just smells incredible and it has essential oils and stuff like that for your skin and I think it's like two pounds. It's incredible and it just, I cannot even express to you how good this smells. Oh, it just smells so good. It smells like real amazing zingy limes. So yeah, go grab your hands on this if you can and give it a smell. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is something that has been a question on my channel for god knows how long. and. I want to tell you, and for good reason, because it's amazing. And it's the Saint Tropez Bronzing Mousse Self Tan. And I actually got sent this um, with a lot of other goodies, thankfully, because this has now been introduced to my life. And I have tried Saint Tropez before in the past, but nothing compares to this. Like, this is just incredible. It gives you the most intense bronze colour, and I'm just obsessed with it. It's so beautiful. So, thank you so much for sending it me. And I have also got the haul. Um, with all the other products they sent me as well coming up soon but I'm not sure when so don't like just yeah <laughs> so basically how this works is um, it's just a, a moussey formula, formula so I use a mitt for this and I just rub it everywhere and it, it it's like an intense colour so it goes on um, so you can see where it's going it does have tan to it um, and then it gradually builds like overnight so you can put it on during the day let it gradually build like all night and all day and then you wash it off in the morning and it leaves like this really really nice tan that still slightly gradually um, develops but not as drastic as it does before you wash it so it's non-sticky it's a little sticky just when you apply it just kind of let it sit, sit in and soak into the skin until it dries um, and just be careful applying like tight clothes and stuff but once it has soaked in it's not sticky it feels really really nice on the skin so I highly highly recommend this okay so the next one is this um, dry shampoo by Batiste in its extra extra large volume I've used this for about a year I mean obviously not the same bottle but I have been using this for about a year and I like this because it's not necessarily to clean the hair it's more for volume and texture and it really works for volume. Um, it's not as good as my texturizing powder that I've showed you guys before as in volume. It does work but the difference is the powder leaves a really sticky residue to feel in the hair and I just feel like that's kind of what I tend to use 
when I'm running towards the end of my hair days before I need to wash it because it kind of sticks for days. Whereas this, um, it gives nice volume, it, it gives back that kind of texture, but it doesn't give you that sticky feeling um, which lingers for days. So I'm obsessed with this, I do do like this and it's really affordable too. Okay, so I have some nail polish favourites, which is quite rare for me, I'm sure a lot of you know, because I do use shellac polish all the, well, most of the time, but I've given it a bit of a push to, to the side, like, giving it a push, because I'm wanting my nails to sort of repair themselves, just giving them a bit of a break, trying to grow them a little bit, and I wanted some nail polish that would last quite a while, that would be super pale pastel in colour, and nine times out of ten you look at nail polish and it just doesn't do it for me, like, I might think, oh that's good, paint it, and it never is, like as pale as it looks in the bottle. So I found two from Recommendations, thank you so much for recommending me these, um, and these are the L'Oreal nail polishes, the new ones they brought out, and I got it in this nice cream shade, and this lilac shade. And this one is called, um, Peach... Uh... Nicolish? Hmm, might leave that out. So yeah, these are good, um, they seem to last ages, like I had these on for a full week before they started chipping and I needed to repaint them, which is to me impressive because that's never happened with a nail polish with me before. Um, I did use a top coat and a base coat with these but I have used the same top coat and base coat with other polishes and it never seems to last as long. Not only that, I love the colours of these, they are true to colour, they are true pastels and I just wish they did a blue like this but they don't so yeah L'Oreal bring a blue out please. On to lipsticks. Okay, so I have a collection of brights and a collection of nudes because I'm obsessed with my nudes, we'll start with those. <laughs> I should do the lip product tag, shouldn't I? Okay, so the first um, set is the Colour Sensationals by Maybelline. I'm obsessed with these. I got two shades and the shades are Honey Beige and Tantalising Taupe and they just look like this, really, really nice. Honey Beige is like this really deep, beigey brown shade and as you can see, it's well loved. Um, it just seems to go well with me if I have a bit of a tan, um, so that's kind of the one I reach for for that. Um, I do reach for them all when I have a tan, like I reach for this one most when I have a tan, and that is Tantalising Taupe. This is a gorgeous shade, this has a bit more pink to it, and this is more of an everyday wearable shade. Um, again, you can see this is um, quite well loved on the top, but as soon as this runs out I am going to have to get another one just because it's probably one of my favourite nudes. So yes, I like this. I like that it's got no shimmer in, I like that it's matte, the texture, the formula, I'm just pretty obsessed with these. To go with that, I've been loving Chic by Tani Burr. This is probably my favourite lip gloss in her whole collection, I just think it's perfect. You can wear it on its own and on top of other lipsticks and I just, I just love it. I just love the smell and the colour and everything. Okay, so another one that I think is probably my new favourite lipstick of all time is Blankety by MAC and it's just gorgeous. This is quite a new purchase for me and um, I just cannot believe how beautiful, how me this is. Like this is like the perfect pinky beigey shade. It doesn't have any peach in there but it's just beautiful. It's, a, it's um, amplified but almost it's kind of a sheer texture but at the same time it has a lot of pigment and it's, it gives you that nice matte satin feel even though it's not because it's not glossy, it's not glittery, it's just nice. I absolutely love this and I do recommend people to go and try it out if they are like me and obsessed with nudes. Okay, so two lipsticks I've been obsessing over, I've got both of them on now, and it, the first one is um, by Rimmel, which is the Moisture... <laughs> the first one is by Rimmel, and it's from their Moisture Renew collection, and it's called In Love With Ginger. This really, really beautiful red with orange undertones to it. I love red, sometimes I just wake up and think I'm going to wear red lip, and there we go, red lip done. Um, other times I'm wearing my classic nude lipstick. But um, I do love this, it's very moisturising on the lips, um, so you can see that it's, it's kind of a similar resemblance to like cream sheen, um, in the sense that it's got no matte feel to it at all, and it's just very moisturising and very nice on the lips, so yes, I love that. And then over the top I've got Firecracker from Topshop, which I've had for about a year, and I just dip in and dip out every so often, it's not really been a main loved product for me in the past. But recently, because of the orange trend and just because of my tan that I've been wearing, this has appealed to me, so yes, I really, really like this. 
and I'm sure a lot of you would be shocked if I didn't mention this in my favourites video and it's the NARS Cocobana Liquid Illuminator. I am obsessed with this, this is absolutely amazing, it's probably one of the best purchases I've ever made and because I'm crazy crazy obsessed with dewy skin because I have quite dry skin and I just want my face to look wet like it's been dumped in a pond or something no, it's a bit dramatic, but yeah, you get my gist. Um, this kind of does the trick for me. I just mix it in with some of my foundation, then I put a bit on after. I can just put it on without any any foundation on at all if I'm just going out, and it just is incredible. A little bit goes a super long way, and it's just so worth the money. Like, if you're like me and you're obsessed with dewy skin, you need to invest in this because it's bloody beautiful. Okay, so. Um, on to jewellery products, I got this necklace a little while ago and I've had so many of you asking where it's from. It's actually from Topshop and they do it in silver as well. I have been looking for a horizontal bar necklace for such a long time guys and I finally found it and I'm so happy I did because it just feels me and I'm just loving it. Um, on the same note as that, I've had lots of you asking where my earrings are from, these gold bars here. They are actually from H&M and they come in a pack of two with some little silver ones as well. Um, they are still in stock as far as I'm aware because I did check the other day for you guys but um, I'm not sure what stores or if you can still get them online. But if you can pick them up in your store and you do want them, they should still be there. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that's everything for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. Also, I am doing a question and answers video on Friday and I would love to hear any questions you have for me so that I can record this video soon. So please leave them in the comment section down below and yeah, and look forward to Friday's video. Also, I just want to say how much I appreciate all the lovely support and comments I've been getting on my recent videos, especially the Celebrity Monday makeup looks. Um, I'm enjoying filming them so much for you guys and I just love that you love them so much So thank you so much for all the support and I will keep on going with them and that's everything guys Thank you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye